find the highest common factor of 270 and 225. To find the HCF, first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. That is C. 270. 225. Okay. Next. For this number, last digit is 0. So, we take 5 here. First number is 2. 2 smaller than 5. So, we take 2 numbers. That is 27. A number close to 27 in 5 table is 5, 5 is 25. 27 minus 25 is 2, 2 carried forward making it 20. When do we get 20 in 5 table? 5 4 is 20. Now for this number last digit 4 E1 so we take 2 here. First number is 5. A number close to 5 in 2 table is 2 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 carried forward making it 14. When do we get 14 in 2 table? 2 7 is 14. Now here we have 27. 27 is nothing but 3 9 is 27. Now 9 is 3 3 is 9. Now 3 is a prime number so we take 3 1 is 3. Now for this number last digit is 5. So we take 5 here. First number is 2. 2 smaller than 5 so we take 2 numbers that is 22. A number close to 22 in 5 table is 5 4 is 20. 22 minus 20 is 2 2 carried forward making it 25. When do we get 25 in 5 table? 5 5 is 25. Now for this number last digit 5 so we take 5 here. First number is 4 4 smaller than 5 so we take 2 numbers that is 45. When do we get 45 in 5 table? 5 9 is 45. Now 9 is 3, 3 is 9. Now 3 is a prime number, so we take 3, 1 is 3. So now our HCF is 5. HCF is the product of numbers that are present here and also here. So now we should find the numbers that are present in these two places. I repeat, we should find the numbers that are present here and also here. So let us find. Starting with the number 5. Do we have 5 here? Yes. So you cut 5 and write here. Next number is 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So next number is 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So you cut 3 and write here. Next number is 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So you cut 3 and write here. Next number is 3. Do we have 3 here? No. No more numbers are left. Therefore, now you multiply these numbers. Whatever number you get, that is your HCF. So let us multiply. That is 5 into 3, 15 into 3, 45. So this is our HCF. Am I clear?